Good day. We are here to read the third chapter of the book of Ecclesiasticus. So I thank God, our Father, that He's given us this holy word, that we might study it and become wise thereby. So I thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity, and I want to give all the glory and praise to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, chapter 3. The sons of wisdom are the church of the just, and their generation, obedience and love. Children, hear the judgment of your father, and so do, that you may be saved. For God hath made the father honorable to the children, and seeking the judgment of the mothers hath confirmed it, upon the children. He that loveth God shall obtain pardon for his sins by prayer, and shall refrain himself from them, and shall be heard in the prayer of days. And he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up a treasure. He that honoreth his father shall have joy in his own children. And in the day of his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honoreth his father shall enjoy a long life, and he that obeyeth the father shall be a comfort to his mother. He that feareth the Lord honoreth his parents, and will serve them as his masters that brought him into the world. Honor thy father in work and word, and all patience, that a blessing may come upon thee from him, and his blessing may remain in the latter end. The father's blessing establishes the houses of the children, but the mother's curse rooteth up the foundation. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for his shame is no glory to thee. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father. And a father without honor is the disgrace of the son. Son, support the old age of thy father, and grieve him not in his life. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy strength. For the relieving of the father shall not be forgotten. For good shall be repaid to thee for the sin of thy mother. And in justice thou shalt be built up. And in the day of affliction thou shalt be remembered. And thy sins shall melt away as the ice in the warm fair weather. Of what an evil fame is he that forsaketh his father. And he is cursed of God that angereth his mother. My son. Do thy works with meekness, and thou shalt be beloved above the glory of men. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself in all things, and thou shalt find grace before God. For great is the power of God alone, and he is honored by the humble. Seek not the things that are too high for thee, and search not into things above thy ability, but the things that God hath commanded thee, think on them always, and in many ways, and in many of his works, be not curious. For it is not necessary for thee to see with thy eyes those things that are hid. It is unnecessary, in unnecessary matters, be not over curious, and in many of his works thou shalt not be inquisitive. For many things are shown to thee above the understanding of men. And the suspicion of them hath deceived many, and hath attained their minds in vanity. A hard heart shall fear evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish in it. A heart that goeth two ways shall not have success, and the perverse of heart shall be scandalized therein. A wicked heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the sinner will add sin to sin. The congregation of the proud shall not be healed, for the plant of wickedness 
shall take root in them, and it shall not be perceived. The heart of the wise is understood in wisdom, and a good ear will hear wisdom with all desire. A wise heart, in which hath understanding, will abstain from sins, and in the works of justice shall have success. Water quencheth a flaming fire, and alms resisteth sins. And God provideth for him that showeth favor. He remember him, he remembereth him afterwards, and in the time of his fall he shall find a sure stay. Amen. Thus for the third chapter of the book of Ecclesiasticus. I thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.